All right. So I had to give a few minutes to head home and do a few things. So now, as I was thinking this through, so you have this kind of end of uh, what you've seen as the sort of the results of uh, the Democrats first including they're having fundamentally a link with the old left, a type of old left, pushing more and more up on the classical liberals, compressing what, what classical liberal tenets there uh, were still in the party. And then pulling in these people who are calling themselves progressives, who are fundamentally kind of uh, democratic socialists. And then and now they're they're much more honestly democratic socialists, um, even though they're it's you know some are starting to say that you know and uh, and the the progressives aren't aren't terribly different except they seem to definitely have much more of the idea of being a bit more open about they would use the government coercively against uh, political opponents or deny them the. Uh, ability to have power um, and possibly extrajudicially uh, that, that they would they would look fondly upon that and and so that's that's the next that's the big one is the uh, extrajudicial violence that has uh, and the lawfare this whole element because it comes across as very honorless, um, it's been clearly seen that this was in some way ginned up such that the police were in on making sure that the right-wingers were always good targets um, or, or perfectly placed uh, to be flanked and then would just let nature take its course. Um, this isn't lost on anybody. People especially who have watched us do this in other countries so that their governments are overthrown, like Ukraine with the Maidan, um, which, you know, almost everything about BLM and Antifa uh, all the way up to the January 6th uh, Fed surrection, all of that looks almost dead on, like what, what we did with uh, Ukraine and the Maidan. Uh, it, it, you know, the, the, with sort of this first attempt with uh, Trump at the White House with them, you know, it, with this, this, oh, this is peaceful protest, you know, and that the mayor just wouldn't do anything about these people, you know, like rioting. I mean, just rioting. That's what they were doing. And they were rioting. And so we get to uh, now analyze you in a way that you can't analyze us because you've had to ground this weird mishmash of occult ideas because it, it, occultism becomes very personal in a, in a way. But there's supposedly these secret ways that you can get group... There's a, there are rights in that with having a bunch of people involved in that ritual that there's some great power gain. That's the whole thing with occultism. With, with the, without that understanding, it's just the people are just, they don't get it. And, and so the individual methods usually are something, the, ones, the things that we find most often that in some way survived in some form from like way back in like the Iron Age or something is the movement of animals that you move like an animal um, things that we get out of the Greek tradition that become much more sort of these com contemplative ideas ways of seeing the universe um, and, and such like that, that, that fills in a lot of the philosophical part of it which the present, at the present, it's the philosophy, like the way Ayn Rand was talking about it, the philosophy of altruism. And, uh, yeah, and I'll just let that, because that, that's its own 
deal worth looking into. Um, it, which which he says is is it's not that's not real. There there's nothing. There's it's not grounded in anything very rational. Uh, that that it's it's sort of responding to natural emotion to help other people, uh, which is just human. Um, the, and, and trying to build some kind of rationale around it. Wow. This, okay. So this is something I've been wondering about. This bank. Okay, like, this is a major, like, this is like the, almost the physical dead center of, like, the, the downtown to university area and and I'm just I, this is blowing my mind that this is this thing is shut down I mean they say that they've moved I mean I you know they moved to probably smaller digs I'm just like really like what's gonna go into something this big <coughs> is what blows my mind is like okay so what do you what kind of business fills in 8,200 square feet with lots of parking? With, with Yeah, with lots of parking. Okay, so with this altruism of, uh, or uh, philosophy of altruism, so uh, you so you have this, 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 and so if you know a lot of liberals, there we go, you can see they'll have all the the, the lotus sign they'll have that 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 bunch of triangles the, the seed of life sign they'll have things that, that indicate like all kinds of you know kind of alternative spirituality stuff and not even like crystals but I mean like you know just and, and it's an open-minded interest it's not this isn't genuine it's not it's not disingenuous it's it's genuine like it's a genuine curiosity about all that. I mean, I've known people, like, I mean, I was in martial arts, Chinese martial arts, I've known people that, I mean, they changed their whole lifestyle. Um, interesting. Now, let's see here. They changed their whole lifestyle and their whole way of life and everything. Okay, sidewalk closed, cross here. Okay, okay, got it, got it, got it, got it. And uh, around, like, their, their training in Taoism. Um, known, like, um, Americans who, you know, they, they moved to Japan in, like, the 60s and, you know, became a Buddhist monk and, you know, massage therapist and, you know, and, you know, end up, you know, instructing people later in life in both, you know. And, and, and you know, so it's... People take these things on genuinely, you know, just like, you know, St. Thomas brought, uh, what was it, uh, uh, Christianity to India, you know, the, the things, you know, thing, the plant, you know, things seed where they do and grow. Um, and you might end up seeing a real genuine kind of people's paganism of a sort that's actually something that's kind of genuine and good and 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 whoa and produces things but at this point most of this is really this destructive movement um that doesn't really seem to have a way of showing people what the future what a beautiful future would be like what their idea of the beautiful future um and so people are so so with, with with then so with Trump at the moment counter it with this. What are you seeing? Say on YouTube, you'll see you know this music that's eighties esque, but it's a fascination with malls when the malls still existed. And the malls were something really amazing. That's that that's life. That's real life. That's uh, something that somebody can absolutely identify with. For 
remember it being, I had to identify that because I'm a guy, I don't want to just shop, but it's normal for women to collect at the marketplace and, and discuss. It's necessary for a society. Um, <laughs> if something goes horribly wrong, if like you don't have a way for the women to collect in that, in some kind of public setting like that, um, and, and, and deal with, and, and trade beautiful things and useful things that they make. Like that, that's just too normal around the world. You need a physical marketplace for people to collect. And, and that has to be safe for children. It has to be. It, and, and, and that naturally, there's a natural order that of course would, that, that sort of, you know, lends itself to. So, you know, the, and, you would have the men who would be all, you know, doing a lot of the business too. And so the, all of these, the, everybody's, that's, the, you can't unbreed that. In, in that, there's some things you, you can't make just the universe work a different way. It's not just plug and play you can't just put in a, a a different memory card and you know and make the make people behave differently no matter how much we want it 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 didn't work for the soviets like that's really something to think about not only did it not work for the soviets it's not working for the chinese now they want everyone to think that oh no no this is totally we got the we we fucking we reprogrammed the Chinese, and it's like, no, actually, they have way more crime than they, uh, they, they let you know about. They have a lot more social problems than they like to lead on, and, they, and everything is about covering up the fact that they have the social problems. Democrats, you're at this stage that that's now, that's you as well. That, that you've, you've gotten to that point, that you're, you're kind of constantly trying to, no, we didn't fuck up. And so this starts to become this thing that I started to realize, what did I really, blew me away about, about you know, the, the Greeks. Like when I finally had to kind of relearn about the Greeks and how profound um, their spirituality was and, and their ideas and stuff. And it was know thyself. And that that became one of these things that the libertarians specifically also had, you know, were big on embracing. And, and with this idea of, no, there's a, no it's, there's a number of ways that this is, is understood. You know, like how it's said. Know thyself either as like, like a humbling of a student by, by a philosopher and the, the master teacher kind of thing, or the idea of know thyself as that, uh, that, that as if you don't understand, you're not, you're not coming from the, from the locus, from your, the locus solus, the, 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 uh, the, the, you're not coming from yourself. You're not actually basing it on what you observe. And what you have to do is actually look at okay what are you seeing you know are you trying to see something or are you actually looking at something and seeing it for what it is and that's what I've been uh, enjoying that that changed in my mind greatly that the more I started to look into certain fundamental laws about it, well just just a lot of history and why is learning or relearning a lot of things that that approach the know thyself approach helped a lot <laughs> because it didn't hurt the world not being what I wanted didn't it that's the world then a lot about Christian theology made sense because of course yeah the well the yeah the way Greek and, and, and Christian thinking and yeah and Syriac thinking and stuff but anyway, but, but then this idea of no, that, 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 and that humans are a part of the world, but there's some, we could see 
something more is yet to be done. That's our, that feeling of anxiety. That's actually the magnanimity that is trying to express itself. And uh, you want to do more. You want to make it a divine place. You want to make heaven on earth. But, but how? And then you need other people. And everybody's got another, a different idea. <laughs> and so, um, and, and then, you know, to make heaven on earth, oh, well, there's, there's shortcuts and secrets, didn't you know? If you had these secrets, you just pay me a small fee. I will teach you the secrets of how to make heaven on earth. And, and so I, I, just, I just had to think this through that Democrats now are at this stage that you, you've made people think in spiritual terms that they then can link to various periods of time in history and the way the various empires had changed before they fell. And so one of the key things at this point to kind of wrap it up a bit is that I wanted to get to the, the go back to the issue of the extrajudicial violence that there for some strange reason just this idea that this wasn't associated with the, with the Democratic Party this idea that um, you would never do such a thing, that you weren't cheering it on, that you weren't kind of slathering a little, like kind of having a quasi-sexual fetish with, you know, these angry youth, you know, for a lot of these old, uh, old scrawny Democrat types that, you know, the, this, these were bold young men. If they could, if they were young like that, they would be out in the streets too, you know, that kind of talk. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it, you know, if they ever saw a MAGA, you know, duh, 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 and, all, and you know, and so it, it's really now the, this thing, it, because this d doesn't go the other way. You all have to really try to contrive, you know, stuff, you know, and, and then again, it's going to end up, the, the investigation done on January 6th, it, it, nobody's isn't it interesting you're not hearing much about it anymore you're not hearing anybody talk about january 6th in the press much yeah because it turns out that there's now a lot of appeals there's courts saying oh you know you weren't allowed to do this there were courts that were like oh you know actually this is you know legally they were totally correct they were escorted in and blah 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 like you guys actually did all these various things wrong and violated their rights. This is starting to happen now. That's starting to happen. Where it's, oh yeah, January 6th was an insurrection. If you violate hundreds of people's to thousands of people's rights to invent a case for such. And, and this is how it all keeps going down. You forget the story falls out of the headlines and then we beat you up with it in the long run. And that's the beauty of it. We always end up being right. It just takes time. And that's why people are betting with us because we are right. Our bet is solid. It's just a longer play. And then it turns out every time you guys actually coordinated to cheat and then you got caught even more because of how you coordinated the cover-up, which makes it hilarious. That part actually is you is the part that really that's what the that's the real that's the real punchline. That's the the awesome delivery that I always like. Is how by the end of it, it's like because of the way that somebody screwed up the cover-up that you're just like holy crap you know so this person not only messed up the cover-up but in messing up the cover-up they've exposed somebody who who we didn't even know about and and this has happened in every single democratic shit bucket shitting moment 
over the past six years is every time, as soon as there's the cover-up, somebody says something that exposes something that nobody knew about. And, and, and I could tell you personally, 4chan, poll, they're all over it, like ants. And, it's, and you, you guys keep just handing this. So I kind of have to think it is, it's either something in the nature that, it, like the, the, the Oribos, you know, kind of thing. But, but no, no, it's just that which wants the void goes back to it. You know, it's, um, and, and that magnanimity is just plain hard and that there's, there's no, there's no way around what, what goes with it. You can't have Christian magnanimity without having Christians. You can't have some kind of application to the national politics without nationalism. Um, and that, and, and, and yeah. The, and one of the main reasons that nobody gets the alt-right were a bunch of Democrats at one time. A lot of people don't know that. They were dissident Democrats <laughs> um, who were starting to catch on to some race politics stuff. This is how they presented themselves. I, does anybody recall that? How Spencer himself... I think might have voted for Obama the first time, if I remember right. I, I'm, I don't, I'm not absolutely sure, but I mean, it's, so it, it, they never were like some staunch, like evangelical, but orthodox bunch of characters or something. They were, they were trying to find their way and, and, and what they were, the option that they were given at some point because of the way that race politics started to become shaped by the Obama administration was into proto-white nationalism, which, I mean, you know, and then eventually what it really was is that Spencer was, like, really getting that what he really was aiming for was white rule. And when, even now, when they're discussing their ideas, last time I heard anything about them, they were discussing something called Apollonian, uh, uh, Apollonianism, like Apollo, and this idea of the, 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 shining, the shining man, you know, and the, or the man of light. The, 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 there's a variety of, of takes on this from various kind of occult idea sections, like from Iran all the way up to Germany, the various, yeah, various occultists, and so uh, it, it's yeah, I, I mean, I just find it absolutely fascinating. And, and so there's these people who want something simple that's simply the law. And could you just leave me and my, you know, kids alone so that we could... And, and I just want to go to church on Sunday if the economy works in that way. I don't know if there's any streets that go through anymore. <laughs> this is a trip. <coughs> Tight. And, uh... And that they, they really want something pretty darn simple. Um, not something terribly complicated. And so I just, I, yeah. And, I, and, uh, and the option they're being given is that they will forever have to go through this ritual that they um, shed through blood and fire. They, they, they appease some ancient uh, injustice to another people. And, and the only people who could, could, can guide them through this are these various kinds of activists slash specialists slash, uh, I don't know, like hierophants of the, of the, of the, of the party. And uh, they can't do that. <laughs> That's, it, it's, you, you don't have that you don't you didn't embed the philosophical groundwork for why that makes sense the the the, the philosophy of altruism was not you didn't get the philosophy of altruism to dig into society enough that people would buy uh, would, would buy doing that you know it's, it, they, they, Americans just aren't going to do that shit <laughs> Uh, like eating, yeah, 
Americans eat barbecue. You're never going to get it. Americans eat bugs. It's just not going to happen. Um, yeah, so there, there we go. Wrap that on up. All right, take care. Bye.